السلام علیکم و رحمت اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یم باغی لی چلا لی وجہ کا واضحیم سلطانک اللہ ربنا لک الحمد بما خلقتنا و رزقتنا و حدیتنا و فرشت عنا اللہ لک الحمد بالاسلام و لک الحمد بال ایمان و لک الحمد بال قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل الاقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی ربنا ذدنا علما اللہم فقیحنا فی الدین اللہم حاسبنا حساب یسیرا اللہم انا نسال قائل من نافیون وعمل متقبلا ورزقا طیبا اللہم ثبتنا عند الموت بلا الہ الا اللہ آمین یا رب العالمین ربی یسیر ولا توسیر وتمم بالخیر اللہم جعل عملنا کلہ صالحا وجعل حلی وجہ کا خالصا ولا تجعل لیہاد فیہ شیعہ آمین یا رب العالمین سو لاسٹ کلاس وی پر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ گرامیٹیکل لیبلنگ ہاو مینی ڈیفرنٹ کائنڈز آف لیبل ڈو وی نو ٹو ٹائپس ٹو مائکرو اینڈ میکرو میکرو اوکے سو ویس نیز ویچ سوری ویس ویس Yeah, when we uh, just uh, analyze the fragments of a sentence, then it is micro and the analysis of the fragments is micro, deep analysis. So big label, yeah. when we are looking uh, from the above. Muqtada and the khabar. Yeah. That is mess. So you can think that way when uh, uh, we, we are in a helicopter, right? So when we are looking down, this is our macro view, right? Because we are looking at everything big. Okay, this is garden, this is street, right? Or this is a road, highway going on, right? This is a water body, whatever, right? So we are looking big things. And then when uh, it land and I, I'm in my garden, or backyard, right? So now I can go over one particular flower or one particular plant, right? And I, I can dig down, right? How its leaf look like, how it, uh, the petal of the flower look like, right? So all that, that is going to be our micro level. So ma macro level is sentence-based uh, label and uh, micro is fragment based uh, level uh, label sorry right so these are the two labels and uh, what are the main ingredients of uh, jumla ismia three ingredients three, three. 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 muqtada khabar uh, okay which one is must muqtada And what are the other two? Khabar and MBK. Mutalik, Khabar and Mutalik Bil Khabar. What is the original order of any Jumla Ismiya? Muqtada, Khabar and then Mutalik Bil Khabar. Yes. So first Muqtada and then Khabar and then Mutalik Bil Khabar. Okay. But how we are going to recognize Muqtada? Doer of the... Muqtada is the doer who is doing the work. Rafa. One person at a time. The word in Rafa, that mm -hmm. is uh, proper yeah. in Rafa. Yes. Is the doer. Exactly. First Rafa in the sentence. Yes. So we are going to look for uh, any ism which is Rafa and proper. 
then it can qualify for our muqtada. Okay, so rafa and proper. Mm. So how we are going to recognize muqtada? Our first is some in a sentence, which is rafa, number one. Number two, it is proper. Then mm. this is perfect for our muqtada. Uh, how we are going to recognize khabar? Khabar is uh, mostly common. It's common and rafa. It's rafa too. Rafa and common, good. But uh, not every time you're going to find a common khabar. Rather, we will see proper uh, as well, yeah. as well, right? So we need to uh, ready for the exceptions. Now, mutalik bil khabar, what... What is basically mutalik bil khabar? Zar fragment. Fragment. Two things, right? Yeah. Jar majroor and zar fragment. Right? So they can be our mutalik bil khabar. Okay. So now moving on. Last class, uh, we were uh, analyzing this sentence. Inna salataka sakanun lahum. So this is a perfect order, right? Can someone label that? Inna salat, salata is uh, muqtada. Salata, inna salataka is muqtada. Mm -hmm. Sak sakanun is khabar. Lahum is uh, mutalik bil khabar. Lahum, not lahum, lahum. Lahum, oh sorry, lahum. Yeah. Okay, so now uh, this is our macro label, right? Yeah. I'm just uh, worried about where is my muqtada, where is my khabar, where is my mutalik bil khabar. So this mm -hmm. is my macro label. Now, once we are done macro label, sentence-based lab label, then we're going to come to micro label, mm -hmm. right? So now micro label, since my muqtada is not mufrid ism, is it? No. It's, no. no it's not, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a combination of uh, fragments. So now I need to further break it down. So who can break it down? Can I try? I can, do it. can I? Yeah, go ahead. One person. Yeah. Inna is uh, Harpo Nasab and Ismuha. Uh, Salataka is Ismuha. Hmm? Inna Salataka. Sakanun. Sakanun is. Sakanun is Khabar. Lahum is Jar Majroor. Good. But you doesn't look like a door. So I'm right? not sure about Sakanun. Sakanun. What do you not know about Sakanun? I know only it's Khabar. So I don't know micro level about it. Can I try micro level? Micro, uh, it, it is a Mufret uh, word, right? This is just one single word, right? So if you just say Khabar, that is good enough. Oh, okay. so we, we cannot further break down Khabar over here because uh, Khabar is one word. Okay. Right, okay. but but in your mind you can think yes, this is an ism saka nun because the main is there, right? Yeah, and then you can there are different kinds of ism, but uh, we are not ready for that because uh, that is uh, our surf part, right? So that's why on this le uh, uh, on this level, if you just say saka nun is uh, khabar, that's good enough. Okay. But you need to be sure that if I ask you, is that Sakanun has any relation with Lahum or any re relation with Salataka grammatically? Uh, salataka Sakanun. No, it doesn't have no. Jar, so it's not. It's not. No. Jar, so right. Without delay. Exactly. And does not have any relation with Lahum either. Exactly, right? So by itself. So that right. makes uh, inna salataka, since they are together, right? We right. agree that they are together? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because inna is yes. related to salata. Salata is the ism of it. 
and then salata and ka is some plus attached pronoun idafa fragment idafa right so they are together that means the whole thing the whole thing is my muktada hmm. because they are changed together right okay. Yeah. So I cannot just say that inna is my muktada, or I cannot just say inna salata is my muktada, and I can leave ka alone. That can't happen because they are changed together. Right? Mm -hmm. So inna right. salata ka together, they are my muktada. And now salata ka and sakanun does not have any grammatical relation. Right? right. So that's right. why my is rm gonna be here. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. So yes. certainly, indeed, no doubt about it, your prayer is. And then Sakanun. Sakanun. Sakun. We know relief. the word Sukun, Sukun. right? Relief. Relief. For, right? You. For them. For them. So Sakanun is the Khabar. And Lahum. Lam is Harfujar. Hum is Isamajroor. And together they are jar majroor fragment and jar majroor fragment gonna be labeled as MBK. 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 Right? This is how we are going right. to break it down. So what was my macro label? Uh, Muktada, Khabar, MBK. MBK. Right? And right. then I further break down Muktada, right? I said Inna, Harfu Nasab, Salata, Isismuha. Yes. Right, then Salata, yes. Wahua Mudaf, and Ka is Mudaf Ilehi. So, this is a uh, whole thing. I break down my Muktada. Sakanun is one word. So, I don't have to break it down on this level right now. So, I can just say this is my Khabar and Lahun, Lam is Harfujar, Hum is Isamajroor. So, now I'm doing micro level. Micro. Okay. Next one. Wahuwa khairul hakimin. Okay, who is ready for this sentence? I can try. I think. Mm, go ahead. Wahuwa khairul hakimin. Wahuwa. Wa is a uh, ataf. Mm. Hua is muktada. Mm. Khairun is khabar. Mm. And uh, Al Hakimina Haba too. Mm -hmm. That's a big label. But why you are saying Khairu is Haber number one and Hakimin Haber number two? What mm -hmm. is your role here? Khairu is a, a <coughs> Rafa as the Haber yeah. because Hua is a, a, the, the pronoun and mm -hmm. uh, Khairu is showing the status of that pronoun. I mean, uh, his 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 the best. But, okay, which what is, is the khabar? Default state of any is some uh, sister Aisha. Oh yeah, yeah, you're, you're right. As a rafa, rafa and common, common. So it should be khairun. Khairun, yes, yes, yeah. So but that's it's not, not Yeah. So then, what's going on? Hmm. Why it is light? Because it's going to be uh, mudaf. Uh, mudaf, 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 fragment. Exactly. Idafa. Okay. So if it is idafa fragment, then whole thing is one bucket. O one bucket, that whole thing is going to be covered then. Exactly. So khairul hakimin, the whole thing is the cover of it. Khabar, yeah. Who is my muqtada? And khairul hakimin is my khabar. khabar yeah. And now my khabar is not one word. Yeah, is a, a, a is a two, is a yeah, it's a enough a fragment. Yes. So, so Khairu is Khairu my mutab and Al Hakimin is yeah. Al Hakimin Jar. I see Fata over here. No, no it's, but a, it's a meme. Uh, yeah, yeah, is there? Yeah, is there, and it's gonna be. Uh, uh, no, is it jar in status? It's gonna be jar in status because uh, uh, yeah, no, Mudaf no. Lehi has to be jar. So ina, 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 ina. Ma, uh, jar, whatever they call it. Like. It's gonna show uh, nasab uh, 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 alif, not alif, uh, fata, but mm -hmm. it's considered as a, as a simple yeah. and 
the answer mm-hmm. 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 simple and easy answer we gonna say they are the mm-hmm. combination please when i'm speaking just Sorry. be quiet so uh, recording is not messed up right so the simple answer is that uh, uh, this is not a single mufrid word right so we are not going to look the ending with uh, only fatha kasra right mm-hmm. rather we need to check for the combination okay right so this is a combination and now if it was haki maini then it was a different combination right yes muslim maini then yeah. it was dual combination yeah. but over here haki mina plural so we plural. Must, uh, mm-hmm. so now it is plural combination una ina combination mm-hmm. right yeah okay now khair khairun sharun we see a lot in quran e pak right in mm-hmm. duas in yeah. masqun duas you will gonna find this word a lot so what about this word there are some words and i told you guys about ismu tafdil yes right what is ismu tafdil ismu tafdil mm-hmm. basically we compare something mm-hmm. right we compare something yeah. with something and sometimes we say better this thing is better and something sometimes we say best superlative degree we use right mm-hmm. so when we say better we are using comparative but when we say best now we are using superlative degree this is basically smooth of deal yes. so the khairun yeah. and sharun they can be they are ism tafdeel so that means they can be used as comparative or superlative degree so now how we will know that okay this is comparative over here or superlative over there right so simple and easy first of all this uh, uh, ism tafdeel always gonna be on the pattern of akbaru we see over here right so akbaru asgaru ahsanu right anfa'u what is uh, anfa'u from nafa nafa mean benefit profit so what would be the anfa'u mean more mm-hmm. benefit more mm-hmm. beneficial or even most beneficial most beneficial right it would be both meaning but how we are going to differentiate this is what we are going to learn so afdalu ashhabu shahab is like uh, youth so ashhabu more youthful aqrabu something is closer asdaqu someone is more uh, truthful mm-hmm. or most uh, truthful aduafu weak or even uh, um multiplying i uh, but over here, i think it's weaker in the meaning of weak then akusatu antaru right we know many of these words and these are used in quran e pak a lot ahwanu ahwanu is like something weak anwaru something is more bright right asqalu sakal tabi right ashaddu even though it, it, it's not looking like that it is on the pattern of akbaru but since uh, the uh, some words uh, have different uh, root letters in it and some root letters are weak so when root letters are weak or they are irregular then they do not conjugate in a regular way right so that's why ashaddu does not look like akbaru but actually it is ismu tabdil it is on the pattern of uh, asgaru actually it was ashdadu so this is surf so that's why i'm not going to go that way but uh, i'm just giving you guys an idea so whenever you see that pattern that is ismu tabdil right so arhamu and then this pattern is light 
it's never gonna be arhamun right mm -hmm. yeah so what would be the muslimun chart for that arhamu arhama arhami sorry not arhami right arhamu, arhamu arhama and arhama so it's nasab and jar version is with the fatha okay. then arhamani ani aini right arhamani arhamaini arhamaini and then arhamuna arhamina arhamina and then even it has a broken plural arahimu that is the broken plural of it right so that is masculine part then when it comes to uh, feminine you will see ruhma we see kubra sugra right mm -hmm. kubra sugra so the masculine is akbaru right from akbaru it becomes kubra the feminine part from asgaru it becomes sugra so for ruhma it will be ruhma yani the dual one and then plural would be ruhma yatun and even ruhuman would be the broken plural so this is little advanced but i'm just showing you no worries if you didn't get it so now just important over here is how we are going to figure it out that okay this is comparative over here and superlative or superlative so whenever ismu tafdeel is mudaf whenever ismu tafdeel is mudaf then it is superlative degree so over here khairul hakimin is khairu mudaf over here is khairu mudaf yes yeah khairu is mudaf mudaf yes yeah mudaf khairu is mudaf yeah right so that's why the translation is best yes. okay so he is the oh. best of judges okay otherwise if it was not uh, uh, mudaf then it if it is huwa khairun right so it is better then oh, translation this. would be it is better okay, okay. Mm. got it now so look at the uh, some example afdalul amali what is the translation Af, afdalu best of best of best of, best of, of, yeah. uh, best of the deeds yeah best of the deeds why we are saying best why not we are saying better because mudaf is mudaf afdalu which is is mutafdil here yeah right and yeah. it is mudaf so afdalul amali as-salatu so the best of the deed is what sala and sala li waqtiha on its time so praying sala on its time yeah. is the best of the deed mm -hmm. So over here, Aftalul Amali is what? Macro label, sentence based label is what? Aftalu is Mudaf and Amali is Mudafile. This is our micro, uh, macro label? Oh, macro label. Sorry, I thought that micro level. So Aftalu. macro is Aftalul Amali is, is what? This is Muftada. Muftada, yes. And then yes, as salatu is the khabar. Hmm. And what is li waqtiha? Does it have any relation with the as -sala? No. Yes. Grammatically, so it is it is matalik bil khabar. Yes, because lam is her fujar. Hmm. Lam is her fujar, waqti is is a majroor, and then waqti is light, wahua mudaf, right? Mm -hmm. and, idafa pregnant, yeah. 
And what is this uh, referring to? Going back to where? Uh, salat. Yeah, Salah is feminine hmm. because Tamar Bhuta. Ah, yeah, that's why Ha. So that's why Ha is used. Right? So the best of the D8 is, so this is my Muktada. Asalatu is my khabar and Livakti Ha is MB. Okay. The next one, Inna Akramakum in the lawhi atqaqum inna inna akrama it is, it is muktada because inna will change akramu to akrama nasab mm -hmm. and and akrama is uh, um, comparative mm -hmm. uh, and it is uh, like nobler uh, of you all Ikrama kum. Akrama kum. Is Ak akrama, what role is Akrama playing here? Inna akrama go together. Muktada. Akrama kum. Yeah, it is our Muktada. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's do. Uh, uh, akrama. Akrama kum. Akrama kum. Inna okay. akrama kum is Muktada. Okay, yeah, let's do our macro label first. Okay, so then we're gonna dig deeper. So, inna akrama kum is muptada, right? Yeah, what is in the lahi? In the lahi, is that fragment? It is mutalik bil mutalik bil khabar, yeah, yeah, because zar plus zar fragment, yeah, zar fragment. So, this is our MB, okay, and atka kum. This is, this is also uh, no, that's khabar. okay. It should we be are khabar. doing, ladies, listen up. We are doing our mm -hmm. macro label. Oh. So, when we are doing macro, do not dig deeper, just say the big things, right? Oh. So, inna krama is muktada, in the lahi mbk, at kakum khabar, right? Yes. yes. Now that we have to take a further breakdown, right? So inna is harfu nasab. Akrama is the ismu inna. Right? Mm -hmm. And then akrama is ismu tafdeel. Mm -hmm. What kind of is, what role ismu tafdeel is playing here? Muda. Muda. It's superlative degree. Why it is superlative? Because akrama. akrama. Because of kum is proper. No, no. Not proper. The answer should be because akrama is playing a role of mudaf over here. Mudaf, yes. <laughs> right? So just simply say that akrama is mudaf. So that's why we're going to uh, translate as a superlative degree over here. <laughs> so akrama. Uh, akrama is mudaf and trikum is mudaf right so together so the translation would be indeed no doubt about it the noblest of you mm -hmm. the noblest of you in the lahi near allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who atqaqum now atqaqum what is at Ataka from Takwa. This is Takwa. Okay, so again, this is uh, Ataka. This is uh, Akbara. Right? Mm -hmm. This is again Muda and Kum is Muda Filai. Exactly. Also, a lot of so the noblest among you is who has the most Takwa, not more Takwa. Most. Most so, right. the sentence can have more than one in Muda. Yeah, there is no restriction. Khabar or the mm -hmm. other things can be anything. Idafa can come as Muda also. Idafa can come as uh, Khabar also. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, but she is, I think, talking about Ismut Abdil can come twice. That is the mm -hmm. question. No, mudaf. Mudaf can come twice. I yeah, ask. mudaf can come anytime and anywhere and multiple times. There is no restriction. 
right depend on that uh, on the sentence now next one who are arhamur rahimin okay okay give me macro label okay and when we are giving macro we are not doing micro we need to get into that habit okay so who are arhamur rahimin so who is Muftada? And then where is my khabar? Arhamur Rahim. The whole thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the whole thing is my khabar. And now Muftada is one word, right? So we don't need to dig deeper, but if we really want to do it, we can just explain our Muftada. That Muftada is what kind of Muftada is it? Independent. independent. Right? Yeah. The Mir Munfasil. Munfasil. The Mir Munfasil is Muptada. Now Arhamur Rahi means since this is not one word. Right? Yeah. So now we need to dig deeper what kind of uh, fragment or whatever we we are having over here. So this is again yet a fragment. Our yeah. is on the pattern of Akbaru. Mm -hmm. So this is a smooth of the ear. Mm -hmm. Now, question is, am I going to translate it as a comparative or superlative? Superlative. Superlative. Why? Because Arhamu uh -huh. is the half over here. Enough. He's the How best. How are we going to translate now? The best of all. He is the best no? yeah he is the best who show mercy right mm -hmm. so rahimin are the this is the category mm -hmm. out of all rahim he is the best one all those who show mercy he is the best of them. most merciful yeah. Okay, so that was uh, Ismut of the Il Khair, Shar, right? And all these uh, uh, list over here. So we need to just get familiar that whenever we see an Ism on the pattern of uh, Akbaru, Asgaru, Ahsanu, then this is Ismut of the Il. And then its, uh, uh, its feminine version is interesting. It's going to be on the pattern of uh, Kubra, Sugra. Right, what would be the from Ahsanu? How we can drive a feminine version? Husna. Yes, Husna. From Anfau. Anfau. Unfa. Nufa. 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 Right, so that would be the uh, feminine version. Okay, now, uh, next one. Inna abana lafidu al alim mubin. Teacher, can I? Yeah, go ahead. Inna abana mubtada lafidu al alim mubin. MBK, khabar. Mm -hmm. Sentence level. Mm -hmm. uh, fragment level. Inna harfi nasab aba ismoha na, uh, ismoha um, Abba, Mudaf, Na, Mudafale, Azafa. Two fragment. La, La is a half a um, uh, lam is lametokid, emphasis, fi, harfidel, dalalin is me majrur, pidalalin, mosuf, mubinun, mosuf safa. Two fragment, um, three. Lametokid and uh, 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 Fi or the Ladin Harfejal and Ismi Majrur and Masu Safa, Murakabe Tosifi. Very good. Barakallah Fiki. Good job. Uh, second, certainly, our father is the clear error. In clear error. Yeah. Very good. Barakallah Fiki. So, Inna, right? Inna, Abana, they are together. Okay. What is the proof that Abba is uh, Nasab over here? Yes. Abu Abba. Yes, right. So remember, there are called a khamsa. Mm. Sorry, yes. asmaul khamsa. 
yes teacher you teach right so asmaul hamsa uh, they are abun regular is abun right but when uh, it is coming as a idafa fragment then abu, its abba. rafa version would be abu, abu its nafa version would be aba and its dar would be abi right so this is how it work so now what is the sign that this is uh, um, uh, nasab the alif is telling alif. us that this is nasab so inna abana so they are together this is our muqtada right and whenever we have inna we can expect a lam extra lam after that lam mazalqa yes that is called lamul muzahlaka muzahlaka means skating lam so actually this lam wanna be in the beginning of the sentence la inna right but when inna comes inna says no i i cannot want uh, i cannot have you with me so you need to move right so that's why it is called muzahlaka muzahlaka means skating sleeping so it slept so now it slept and now it can be with the uh, uh, with the khabar of inna so with khabar of inna or if we don't have khabar we have jar mazroor shibu jumla khabar then it gonna attach to that shibu jumla so that's what we see over here okay so this is uh, lamu taqid lamu muzalaka lamu taqid and lamu ibtida right so there are different names for this lam why we call lamu ibtida because i said this lam wanna be in the beginning of the sentence right but inna doesn't want that so that's why it pushed away so now lam is lamu taqid fi is harfu jar now when we have harfu jar we are expecting is majrur after that so dalalin is is majrur and then dalalin and mubinin right we clearly see that okay look like musuf sifa fragment so that means the whole fragment this is one bucket so what is the label of this bucket in bk yes in bk right Yes. Yeah. So this is how we we are going to do that. Okay. So now, last class, someone uh, requested to do uh, a breakdown for Bismillah Rahman Rahim. So I put something over here for you guys. So, but you guys gonna do it, and we are going to take turns. So now, Bismillah. So. What do you notice over here? What do we see? Huruf e jaga b b b isme plus isme. One person. I said one person at a time. Okay. So now let me ask you guys. Okay, it's hard to pick. Sister Raksha, are you available? Or Lubna, are you available? Farhad. So, what do we notice? What, how this sentence is starting? I should not even call a sentence. How this uh, this is starting? Harfujar. Harfujar. Hmm. So we have uh, ba harfujar. Right and bismi, what kind of word we we see after that? So how to bismi 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 ismun that that change into ismi. Yeah, exactly. So it is ismun, right? Yeah, ismun. Drop. But it's not ismun. Yeah, b ismi. Right, because of ba, it is taking kasra. Right, not even two kasras, one kasra, and then this alif is also dropped because we are merging ba with it, right? So this is called hamzatul. What's that? It's dropped. Mm -hmm. So now, yeah, wasal. 
So now bismi. So instead of bismin, why it is bismi? Allah. Yeah. Yes. When something is light, there is some reason, right? And one reason is that it could be mudaf. mudaf. But yeah. I need to check. I need to double check. How I can double check? status. Yeah. So I need to check the next uh, ism. Ism, yeah. Right? That and that good. ism should be jar in status because that is uh, mudaf ilayhi. Mm. Right? So, and I can see that the word Allah is uh, mudaf ilayhi over here. Right? It is jar in status. So now how... Bismillahi. So that means by Zarfujar, Ismi is a Masroor, Wahua Mudaf, and the word Allah is Mudafilehi. So they are together, one bucket. Right? Yes. So we see Jar Masroor fragment and Idafa fragment going side by side. Right? Yes. Yes. And we can translate. In the name of Allah, we say, right? Or we say, by the name of Allah, right? Mm. Or with the name of Allah, mm. all these translations you're going to find. Now, comes the next word. What is, the, what is the status of Ar-Rahmani? Jar. Yes. Why it is jar? There is is there any harfu jar before it? Uh no, it's because of it's Allah. Yeah, the root of the ba b. No, ba cannot no, no. affect that far. Ba no. only can affect one is some after it. That's all. It yeah. is sifa of Allah, uh yeah. Exactly. Sifa for Allah. We know, we know sifa mosu fragment, right? Yes. So there is no harfujar. Ar Rahman cannot be mudaf because mudaf can be light. But Ar Rahman, why Ar Rahman cannot be mudaf? Because it has al. Exactly. Because it has al. So it cannot be mudaf. So why it is light then? Then we, our mind should go. Maybe it is playing another role and we know that. Mosuf Sifa follow each other in all four properties. Right? So the word Allah is Jar and that is making a Rahman Jar because they are playing Mosuf Sifa fragment. So the word Allah is Mosuf and a Rahman is the Sifa of the word Allah. Yes. Right? And then a Rahman and a Rahim. Why are Rahimi is Jar now? Another Sifa too. Yeah. Right? So this is the Sifa number one. And this is Sifa number two. Why I cannot say that Ar Rahman and Ar Rahim is Mosuf Sifa? Because it has. Because it's the Rasa of <laughs> No, Two adjective cannot be Masuk Sifa. No, because, because Allah's name when come by hmm. uh, side by side, uh, they are not uh, uh, Masuk Sifa. Yeah, because uh, Ar-Rahman cannot describe Ar-Rahim. Right? Yeah, they are, they are, they are yeah, so these are the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They cannot describe each other. So, now, what do we notice over here? Where, what kind of sentence actually it is? Jumla ismi or failure? Nothing. These are fragments. These are all fragments, right? Yeah, not it. So, something is missing over here. Something is mahzoof. Muftada. Yeah, muftada is no muftada. Yeah, muftada is actually mahzoof over here. Right? So, Bismillah, we see Jar Majru fragment, Idafa fragment, and then we see Mosul Sifa fragment. Mm -hmm. 
right and we we see that <clears throat> ar rahman is sifa number 1 and ar rahim is sifa number 2 so these are all fragments this is not even a complete sentence right but yes. when we are we are commanded to say bismillah whenever we are we do any action right so we are supposed to start our things whatever we are doing with bismillah right so yes. now subhanallah the beauty over here is that allah subhanahu wa taala did not mention the fail over here right the it is supposed to be jumla failia so allah subhanahu wa taala did not mention fail over here why because if he said okay say aqra'u bismillahir rahmanir rahim meaning i start my recitation or i start my reading in the name of allah or if i say ashra'u i start i shuru from shuru karna right ashra'u if i say ashra'u right i start whatever i'm starting in the name of allah or i could say akalu akalu basically akalu right akalu i eat with my um, in the name of allah subhanahu wa taala or abdau abdau again the word is uh, beginning right i start whatever i'm starting in the name of allah subhanahu wa taala so then it was a problem right every time i need to think or if one fail is given to us then this bismillah was particular to that uh, action but we are asked to say bismillah whatever we are doing in our life so that's why it is being mahzuf right so whatever we are starting we are saying bismillah that i'm starting this thing in the name of allah subhanahu wa taala right how beautiful it is and then another beautiful implication over here of ar rahman and ar rahim rahman is that is called sigatul mubaligha i'm throwing big terms over here today so i don't know how you going to digest for uh, beginners but uh, inshallah um that is uh, going to be helpful to uh, understand few things so ar rahman is the on the pattern of falan right falan and that is called sigatul mubalagha which means whenever we say sigatul mubalagha basically two things we need to find in it we are saying that uh, there is intensity in it what is intensity mean intensity mean shiddat like a lot going on tension right a lot and then uh, intensity and uh, quality and sometimes it takes the meaning that it is happening uh, many uh, like uh, over, uh, over and over right so so mubalga again then mubalga has uh, different things in it but we going to talk about just uh, falan over here so rahman ghadban what is ghadban and angry ghadab yeah angry ghadab right? so ghadab is gussa ghadbun but from ghadab if we bring that on rahman pattern on falan pattern we will say ghadban or atushan what does yes. atushan mean piyasa thirsty yeah. Jawan, hungry. Yeah, and we need to have the word extreme with it. 
So Ghadban means extremely angry. Atshan mm. means extremely thirsty. thirsty. He cannot think anything, but just he want to quench his thirst. Jawan, extremely hungry. Mm -hmm. Right? So it has intensity in it. Extreme. Now, if you are angry, right, and someone come and calm you down, possible that after like a, a little time you would be fine, right? Ghadban is not forever. Someone cannot be in gussa or in rage like... Uh, uh, all 24-7. Right? This is not the case. Or even Atshan. If someone is thirsty 24-7, probably you're gonna die. Right? So mm -hmm. he need to quench his thirst. So Atshan, Jawan, someone is extremely hungry, but when he eat the meal, now this is uh, done. Hunger is gone. Right? So, what about this pattern, Palan, that there is an intensity, but there is uh, this intensity or this uh, thing or uh, the, this is temporary, basically. So, Ar-Rahman, and then for Ar-Rahim, it is said that this is something inherent quality of someone. Rahim is something that is inherent in you. Mm. It, it is always with you. So now why and both of them share the root letter with, which is Ra, ha, and Mim. Mm. Right? So why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has used two words or two ism which has the same root letters. Rahman, Rahim. It could be uh, any other uh, attribute of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala could have been used. Right? Yes, so why he choose the uh, like two uh, isam which I have same root letters? Because one is temporary and one is uh, exactly. Permanent. Yeah. So Ar Rahman, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is Ar Rahman right now, right? In is so much intensity that we do not know how he is feeding and giving life to each and every creation. We do we have no idea how many creation, how many different kind of species are living, right? even on earth, even on other uh, universes, right? Even uh, on in water, we have no idea. But he is being Rahman to everyone, right? And then someone who does not even believe on him, right? They are complaining, blaming, right? And they do not even say that... Uh, there is any God, atheist, right? But still, Rahman is giving them to uh, giving them food, and uh, they are living their life. So this is a Rahman. He has intensity, right? But this this one is uh, temporary, right? So th this is, I think. Uh, 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 Ibn Abbas he is explaining that Ar Rahman is uh, his uh, Rahmaniyat is showing mercy in this world to each and every creation living creature right mm -hmm. but Ar Rahim his mercy is gonna be only for the believers on the day of judgment, judgment. right so mm -hmm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala divided uh, his uh, uh, attribute being Rahman, 100 pieces, right? 99 he kept with him and only 1% he sent in this world. And this, due to this 1%, 
we all show mercy to each other. Even animals show mercy to each other. We, and we show mercy to animals. And we show mercy to our loved ones. And we show mercy to mankind. That is only one percent. And uh, on the day of judgment, all hundred percent mercy is for who? Believers. Believers. Subhanallah. Right? So this is Ar-Rahman and Ar-Rahim. And Subhanallah, this is not even a sentence. Right? This is uh, different uh, fragments over here. Who, who asked for that uh, breakdown? Is that person even present? Who asked me last class for this breakdown? She's not here today. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's good for us. <laughs> we yeah. learned something new. <laughs> We are benefited. <laughs> no, they can listen to the recording. No yeah, worries, yeah. but I'm just being curious that who was asking. Oh, okay, so now I moving. I have a question. Sorry, yeah. Hmm? I have a question because hmm. earlier when we, we were doing Masu Tosifa, hmm? uh, uh, we came up with the example of Wallahu Hani hmm? And when you were explaining that, you said when whenever the two names of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mm. are coming in succession. Mm. They are not uh, taken as Masu mm -hmm. So they would rather be just the khabar of that uh, fragment. Mm -hmm. So here, uh, Ar Rahman Ar Rahim would, would be Masu Sifa or it would be just the khabar? No, we said that, okay, uh, there could be uh, for Allah, the word Allah, because this is the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? Mm. Yes. So there could be sifa for the word Allah, right? So mm. the uh, word Allah over here is Mosuf, and Ar Rahman is the sifa number one for the word Allah, and Ar Rahim is the sifa number two for word Allah, right? So for okay. Allah, the word Allah, because this is the name of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, this is not attribute, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the uh, name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can have uh, is, its sifa. We, we, we say in quran Paak a lot. Yes, Jazakallah Khair. Yeah, why it? Okay, so now in we short are... Ustada, one... Hmm? In short, Ustada, one Mosuf can have many sifa. Yeah, exactly. One Mosuf, more sifa. Yeah, it can have multiple. Mosuf uh, should be Just one. Just telling her one. Yeah. Mosuf one and Sifa a lot. Yeah, yeah. multiple Sifa. Sure, okay. And you don't see in uh, Surat Fatiha? Rahmanir Rahim, Malik Yawmiddin. Yes, Malik Yawmiddin. So uh, it is continue. Yes, Sifa. So first of all, uh, Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. Alameen yeah. Right? And then Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Ar Maliki Yomitin. Yeah. So they are all Sifas of Rabb. Okay, now moving on. Uh, so now over here, we need to figure it out what kind of fragments going on. This is the old homework. Okay, you guys already did it? Yeah. Any problem? No. Okay. Then we can move on. Okay. What about this one here? I think we are supposed to do this today. Okay. Together. So let's do it. Okay. So first one, Ila, you guys need to give uh, Haraka. Ila kau me him. Very good. Right? So Ila kau me him. Him. Because of this kasra on kaumi, it's not whom. Mm. Otherwise, it's supposed to be whom. Mm. Right? Attached pronoun whom. But then it is uh, going to take a kasra because uh, it has a mm. kasra for the latter. Right? So, ila kaumi him. 
Now break down. Ila kaumi is jar majroor fragment. Ila is half of jar. Kaumi is uh, isam majroor. Whole fragment is jar majroor fragment. And kaumi is ida uh, abudaf. And him is atas pronoun in udaf ilai. Very good. Translation. Uh, towards uh, his uh, towards his calm that is uh, is him is his oh so it's there there so towards their nation yeah. nation nation come. towards their nation very good okay number two in hmm? um, in one person no. Okay, so Inna, what do we need after Inna? Let's see. Yeah, so that's why Abwaba, right? Abwabal Baiti. If it was Abwaban, then it should have a leaf, right? So it doesn't have a leaf, that means it will catch lamb. Yeah. Yeah, so in in na abwabal baiti. Okay, what's going baiti. on? Baiti. Yeah, uh, now break it down. Inna harfeina, and hmm. then abwaba is ismo inna, <coughs> and then abwaba uh, abwaba is mudaf, and then al baiti is mudaf. Indeed. Yes. Right. And translation? Indeed. Uh, the, the door, door of, of the house. Yeah. Yeah. Indeed. Doors of the house. Inna. Inna. Abwa Balbaiti. Okay. Next one. Let's finish this site here, over here. Yeah. So. Ma. Ma. Hmm? Ma, uh, yeah. Ma, abna. Ibu, ibna, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Abna, i. Abna, i. Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Ma, abna, i. Ibrahim. Ma, Ibrahim. Mom. Okay, it cannot. Okay, uh, what's going on now? Break down. Special muda. Special muda. Ma. So ma is muda. Abna is muda filai. Muda. Muda filai hi wa hua muda. Right, and then Ibrahim is mudafilehi. Since Ibrahim is uh, partly flexible, so it is not going to take kasra. Right, so translation with the with with sons of Ibrahim. Yes, with the with sons of Ibrahim. Sons of Ibrahim. Yeah, the sons of Ibrahim with the sons of Ibrahim. Sons yeah, of Ibrahim. <coughs> sons of Ibrahim. So Ibnun is the singular. Hmm. Right? Ibnun, Ibnani, Ibnin. And then Ibnani, Ibnaini, Ibnaini. Right? And then Banun or Abnau. Right? So that would be the. Uh, uh, that is, I think, sing with single the might should have now. Um, so banun and abna, right? So that is uh, one is regular plural, the other one is uh, broken uh, plural, oh, right? And uh, from that we we see in Quran Pak bani Israel. So what's going on, bani Israel? Yeah, so it is Banuna, Banina, Banina, right? Mm -hmm. So Banina, so uh, it depends like what is before it, right? So there must be, uh, we are using if uh, Nasab over here or if you want to say Banu Israel, mm -hmm. right? So Banu Israel, 
So this is a Rafa version and Bani Israel is, is a uh, Nasaburjar version. It's called because it is becoming Mudaf. And then Israela, partly flexible. Right? Okay, next one. Un. Yeah, next. Un Ithni Abina. So Un Ismi Abi Abina. Right? So what's going on? Abi. Anis is uh, Harpeja, Ismi B. is Machuru. Next, uh, Ismi Abina is uh, Mudaf fragment. Is so, Ismi is Mudaf again. Ismi is, is Mudaf of Abi. Abi. Abi is Mudafile Abi. and Abi and uh, another Mudafile. Another Mudafile. Yeah, so chain of Idafa. So, Jan Majroor and chain of Idafa is going on. And how are we going to translate? With I mean about Mari Bapke Namka about 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 our father's name. About the name of our father. About the name of our fathers. Or forefathers, whatever you want to call. Okay, now okay, we still have here. Lag uh, number three over here. Hmm? Lakinna Kalimati Ka. Why hmm. Kalimati? Because uh, Lakinna is a harp and asap. Kalimati is asap. So why Kalimati? Lakinna hmm. is harp and asap. Uh, kalimati Ka. Mudaf Mudafilahi Ustada. Yeah, but Kalimati. Why you are saying the Kalimata? Kalimata. Taka. Taka. It will make Why Taka? Nasa. Kalimati because it is a monas. No monas. Uh, Jama will be Kalimatun Kalimatin Kalimatin. No, no, no. It is Ismu Ismu ha. Lakin Ismu Ismu Nasa. Ismu Anna. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you are right. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, so, is, uh, Lakin is Harfun Asaf, right? Asaf. And it, it means Kalimati is some Majroor because uh, this is uh, Atun Atin, right? It's not one word. I was thinking as a one word, Kalimati, but this is Kalimatin, right? Kalima. That's why Kalimati Ka. Oh, guys got it? Kalamatin, Kalamatin. Yeah. So, so, because, yeah, it can be Nasab because... and Jar both. Yeah, so the Kasra could be Nasab and Jar, and uh, over here it is Nasab. Kalamatin. So, Kalimati. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yes. Kalamatin. Next one. What is the translation? Sorry. Can yeah, okay, you? yeah. Lakina mean, however, Kalimatika, Kalimatika, uh, your words or your statements, whatever you want to say. However, your statements or your words. Next one. La al. Yeah, I should not say that. Yes. Yeah. And then. Ma ah, ma ah, ardi, maal al, ardi, ardi. Okay, give me a breakdown. La ala ma ma is is mo la ala ma ma is ida kan al ardi is ida ida muda. Translate. La 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 Maybe. Lala is maybe or oh, perhaps, yeah. perhaps, perhaps, or maybe, yeah. Or hopefully, yeah. so hopefully, water of the earth. Or, 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 hopefully, or, water of the earth. Okay, now, now you have to uh, do the Arabic. So, the 
english is given and we need to translate into arabic the names of the children name asma children is aulad or abna right so how are we gonna construct that so first of all we need to look okay the names of children meaning what kind of fragment is it idafa idafa right so now after of is what children mother right? so, so that means that should be my mudafilehi right so then asma should be my mudaf asma yes asma auladin asma auladin al au yeah aulad uh, asmaul aulad uh, yeah we need to have I like that right al auladi al asmaul auladin asmaul auladi Next one, in the heart of the people. In the heart of the people. What kind of fragment? This is also Idafa. Okay. So where is Mudafi? Here it's easy when we see. Okay. Al-Nasi. Al yes. Al-Nasi. Yeah. Okay, Kulub. Right. And Anas. Anasi. Right. And mm. then we have something else. It says in the in the fi Yeah, so fee. now we need to bring fi, and because of fi, it is it will be kulubi. Kulubin nasi. Kulubin nasi. Nasi. Fi nasi. Yeah. So now next one, his father's face. Face is vaj. His father. Father's face. What's his father's father. face? Face of his father. Face of his father. Face of his father. Who? 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 Waj who? Abi. 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 Because it will light. Vajhu abihi. We can attach this attached pronoun to the over here with abhi, right? Vajhu abihi. Vajhu abihi. Abu abhi. <clears throat> because vaj is mudaf, abhi hmm. is mudafilehi, then abhi is again mudaf and he is mudafilehi. Right? His, his father is also Idafa. <coughs> right? His father is also Idafa fragment. So now yeah. change. Abhi abhi oh, abhi yes. will be because of uh, Mudafilai. Okay. Yeah. Abhi, he. abhi and he. Abhi and Abhi. Yeah. <coughs> it is so, attached to his father. Oh. Okay, now. In her mother's room. So first of all, mother's Dabu. room. So again, it's half a fragment. Mm -hmm. Right? So yes. where is, who is after of? <clears throat> mother. Room of mother, right? So mother is after of. Right? So mother is going to be the last one. Ummi. Ummi. Right? <clears throat> and now, we have Urfa. Fi gurfati ummiha. 
في yes so her mother ya ummiha yes her mother ummiha fi gurfati ummiha yes right so fi gurfati ummiha about my life about my life about is on my life of my an hayati yes right so hayati my life an hayati so hayatun right hayatun is life and now we need to since my life we are creating it of a fragment mm -hmm. and i need to attach ya right. with it mm -hmm. right so it will take us ra hayati our sister's book book of book uh, of book of <clears throat> sister right uh, so sister uh, is the uh, yeah uh, 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 uh. Yes. Kitabu Uhtina. Yeah, Uhtina. Uhtina. Right? Book of our sister. Alhamdulillah, that was good exercise. And uh, we are over time, right? Uh, did you guys try this uh, exercise before? Last class? In the light. Yeah, this one I did. I this, one easy. this one is easy. And uh, then, this. yeah, so you guys need to do this one as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. I put a uh, uh, key for this page over here. But uh, we're going to share key later. So you're gonna just, uh, I think that is uh, uh, even last week, right? Um, is that last week's one? No, this is this one, no. This one, no. No, no this one, no. Okay. So can someone take a picture? Who, who can take a picture, a good one? And then share it. Let me see, yeah, starting from here. I think we did the done. Yeah. Al I think we did that. It was until Allah. In, it was given in homework. It was the first one. Homework? Okay. First one, I think we did it. No? If you guys have any question, then we will uh, next time we can discuss. Otherwise, we're gonna move on. I then. think the first one was done. Yeah. The first one was done. This is not done. Yeah, this is not done. Yeah, second, this is second. Okay, so you're gonna try uh, on your own, right? And then, inshallah, if uh, you guys have any question, we can uh, discuss next class. So, Barakallahu li walaku fil Qurani hakim wa nafani wa iya kum biayati wa zikri hakim. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika na shadu la ilaha illa anta wa nastaqfiruka. When I stop for a ruka, when I stop for a ruka, when I do be like, so honor of the God of the Lord, Satya Maya Sifuna, was salam on a little more selling, well, Hamdulillah,